Hi there, it's Cherie here and today I'm going to talk to you about um, four reasons you are exercising but may not be losing weight. So are you confused about what exercises you should do to help you lose weight? Are you exercising already uh, by walking or running but not seeing results? Um, and maybe actually you now think that you'll never get to your ideal weight um, or lose that stubborn fat. But what you really want is exercises that will help you get the scales moving downwards. Exercises that you can do easily and fit into your daily routine. Imagine if there was a solution that will transform the way you exercise so that you'll get the results that you want. I'm going to share with you four key things to help you. First of all, you might be doing too much cardio. Now, longer sessions can burn calories, but they can also increase your appetite. It can also eat away at your lean muscle mass, which is absolutely essential for increasing your metabolic, uh, your metabolism to burn more calories. Um, it causes the body to become more endurance focused, storing energy as fat to ensure it's got plenty of reserve fuel so it can keep you going for those longer miles. Secondly, you're not lifting weights. If your primary goal is to lose fat, then there's other forms of exercises that are much better. Now, the best way to lose weight and build muscle is to do some form of strength training in addition to your cardio. The more muscle tone your body has, the more fat that you will burn. Now, you don't have to get up your cardio, but try adding in some interval training by performing short bursts of all-out effort into your sessions. These are much more effective at promoting hormones that target stubborn fat, and then start adding in some resistance training to your routine. Body weight exercises such as push-ups, squats, lunges, planks are a really great place to start building up um, and also uh, start lifting some weights. Thirdly, you may not be working hard enough, so your workouts should be intensity dependent. You should be working at a level that achieves an afterburn effect, so it can keep your metabolism revved up for about 24 to 48 hours afterwards. And the fourth thing is that you're not allowing yourself to recover. So when you achieve afterburn the next day, you need to focus on different muscle groups, or if you've worked your whole body, do light cardiovascular work, such as walking, or stretching, coming to yoga, or just completely rest. Recovery and rest are often more important than the workout itself, because it's during those phases that your body does most of the fat burning. So give yourself that time to fully recover so that you're ready to work hard the following day. And most importantly, listen to your body. Push yourself, but also give it some love too. If you like this, then please, please click the like button and also share. Thank you.